We are more than a quarter of the way through the high school football regular season, so it's a perfect time to check in with the latest edition of Jarvis's Juggernauts. Let's get right to him. We'll start at number five. I have Broadway. Now, the Gobblers, they went on the road last week to defeat Waynesboro. Broadway is in the middle of a stretch where they're playing three of four on the road. Uriah Rutten's been solid at quarterback. It's always nice when you have a big target like Ryder Post to throw to. They're home, though, this week against Fort Defiance. Number four, I have Spotswood, who held off a really gritty Wilson Memorial team at home this past week, 14-13. After a tough week one loss, the Trailblazers have won two in a row. They're back at home this week to take on Charlottesville. Number three, Riverheads. They, too, have won two straight games after a week one loss. Their most recent win came against Fort Defiance. Gladiators, they're on bye this week, so they don't play again until next Friday. Number two is Central. Now, the Falcons picked up a road game at Stanton, 14-6. Central's been really tough up front. They win at the line of scrimmage. Helps when you have Tyler Forbes in the backfield, too. It's a stretch for the Falcons right now. Tough stretch. Five-game road trip right now. They're going to take on Amelia County next. And at number one, it's still Turner Ashby. Now, look, I'll be honest with you guys. I don't know how you slow down this offense right now. They have put up 55 points just this past week at home against Monticello. They're back home again this week for a matchup with Waynesboro.